Hey everyone, I'm John Swantek. Welcome to Direct Connects presented by United, where you guys, the fans, get to ask the questions and connect directly with PGA Tour players through our social media platform. FedEx Cup playoffs continue this week at the BMW Championship in Carmel, Indiana. Our guest is an Indiana guy. He's going home. Jeff Overton joins us from Crooked Stick. Great playing at the Deutsche Bank, Jeff. A tie for seventh to move from 83rd to 40th in the FedEx Cup points. Thank you. Yeah, I was uh, pretty nervous uh, there the last round. You know, I was playing with Phil and had such a huge gallery, and I don't know if I've ever been that nervous for a long time anyway. And uh, I was just really hoping to shoot something solid and, and get, get to here. And here I am. It's been fun. I could hardly even sleep last night. I was just so pumped up, kind of on cloud nine still, just thinking about coming back here and, uh, and having so many Hoosier fans close watching the tournament. We got a lot of questions from Hoosier fans this week, too. Uh, let's get it going here. The first one from the Tour Report. It comes from Rob W. How well does Crooked Stick suit your game, and how do you like your chances this week? You know, I really, I really like the golf course. I've always, I always have. Um, it's pretty, it's kind of a bomber's course. You got to make sure you keep the ball on, in the, on the greens and the par threes. And if you can hit your driver long and straight, you're going to have a big advantage here. You know, all four par fives are pretty much reachable for, for a long guy, and it's really about taking advantage of those holes and, and, like I said, keep hitting the ball on the par three greens and regulation, and you can really shoot some low scores out here. Jeff Overson, former Big Ten Conference Player of the Year at Indiana University. Next question through Facebook. It comes from BB. What do you remember, he says, most about uh, Indiana University golf? You know, I, I won't ever forget going out to uh, the driving range after the qualifiers to, to play at IU and I'd sit there and just sit there and hit balls for hours and hours and everybody would be at the football games going and, and, and watching that and I'd be sitting there just grinding it out all weekend long uh, just trying to get better and trying to get a one up on some, some people and uh, they have a practice facility there that's as good as about, as about anything and each green rolls like eight to ten on the stem at all times and you just take your own Pro V1s out there and and, uh, and start hitting it away. And it, it's just awesome to go out there and practice your short game because as we know, you look at the best players in the world, it's, it's the short game that really distinguishes who's, who's the best from the, from the good. All right, let's keep the uh, IU theme going here. This one uh, from Marty through the tour report for uh, Evansville native Jeff Overton. He says, as a proud IU alum, how good does it feel to know Tom Crean has brought the program back to the top? Now we're talking hoops. Now, Jeff, and a couple wins uh, in the tournament last year for the Hoosiers. Now you're talking my probably my favorite sport other than golf. Um, man, you know Tom Crean, what a what a first class guy that he is. Uh, you know, I, I think it's really incredible just sitting there and watching how Crean has been able to take the program coming in with virtually uh, he had to restart the whole program, and uh, you know Watford hit that game winner winning shot last year and won an SB. It was. Uh, that was pretty neat, and to get to sit there around the front row and, and watch that, it was, uh, it was pretty uh, bone chilling, I, I guess you could say. It was pretty awesome. Pretty thorough scouting report there. And here's another one uh, that comes through Twitter, Jeff, from at Who Who Hoosiers One. It says, uh, ever take a golf trip to somewhere warm during those long Indiana winters? Yeah, you know, I've actually, the last couple winters, I've been hanging out a little bit in, in West Palm Beach, Florida. Seems like there's a lot of um, tour players that are down there in the Jupiter area. I bet there's at least 15 to 25 guys that all like to hang out down there, and there's always some good games. Uh, I got to meet Donald Trump uh, a couple years ago, and he gave me a membership down at, his, at Trump National down there. What kind of game does the Donald have, by the way? He's got a great game. His caddy is awesome. You know, you look up, and next thing you know, the, Donald's balls in the trees, and next thing you know, Don has a perfect lie just outside, just in play. <laughs> what are you suggesting here? <laughs> oh man, that's that's a good. No, intel he's guy. he's actually got some pretty. He's actually got a pretty good game. I mean, I, I've played with him, and he's he's always he always makes a bomb one one long putt around. So, yeah, he, I bet he's you know if he, he, his distance is, lacks a little bit, but uh, he's I bet he's a, a solid two, two handicap, two to four handicap. He's, he's not too bad. Jeff Overton, uh, our guest here on uh, Direct Connect, a member of the uh, U.S. Ryder Cup team at Celtic Manor in Wales in 2010. Jeff had a 2-2 two two record in his first Ryder Cup appearance. Uh, here's a question, and this is a good one, uh, from Joshua through Facebook. When's the last time you used Boom Baby? Oh, uh, man. You know, actually, 
I was, I've been trying to use it some point in time and I was pretty intense. I made a little 30 footer actually yesterday and uh, I, I yelled it a little bit, but you know, not too loud. It was, it was kind of a reserved boom baby. Um, but you know, it, it comes from back in the day, you know, watching the Pacers and, and good old Reggie Miller hitting those three pointers and all of a sudden it just kind of turned into a, turned into something that it, I just picked it up and started saying it myself whenever I got really emotional about something. And it, it's, it's pretty, it was just, it's just fun. It's fun to say it. Jeff, as a Knicks fan, I wish you hadn't brought up uh, Reggie Miller and the Pacers, but we'll move on here with uh, one final question from Pedro Hubbard through the tour report. Is it true that you own a limo? Technically, I don't know. Yeah, kind of. A few of my buddies all pitched in and, uh, and, and bought a limo. I'm, I'm, I rarely get to use it, but technically, I guess you could say I'm kind of a part owner in one. It, it makes for a good time to go to the basketball games. You get everybody together and kind of roll in the games together or, or anytime you need a ride home from the airport. It's always good to have, be able to have somebody come pick you up and, and bring you home whenever you need it. Uh, Jeff Overton uh, and his boys uh, rolling in style this week uh, back home in Indiana for the BMW Championship at Crooked Stick. One of the hot players in these FedEx Cup playoffs. Uh, good luck, Jeff. Thanks for connecting with us. All right. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Direct Connect is brought to you by United, who is proud to be the official airline of the PGA Tour.